tap it right to left. Welcome to today's cardio hit and upper body sculpt, tone, and define workout. You have seven working tracks in today's workout. Track one is all about a beautiful warm up. My name is Angie, Angie Fitness TV. I'm so glad you're here, you guys. Give me a beautiful hamstring curl. Heel to your butt. Heel to your butt. Right here. Heel to your butt. Beautiful. So glad you're here with me today. Opposite elbow, opposite knee. Right here. Whew. Push it here. Just warming it up, everyone. Beautiful job. Give me heels to the front. Roll your arms. Whew. So we're going to focus today on what your body can do for you. You are here to embrace this beautiful workout and take this time for yourself. Knee center, knee center. Pull it down. So track one. It's all about warming up your body. You are here to transform your body one single workout at a time. Touch your insole, touch your insole. Yeah? Seven working tracks. Beautiful sculpt tone and define workout. We're gonna rev up your metabolism in today's workout. You're gonna tap it right to left, arms come front. Thumbs up on this one, right here. So track one, again, is all about warming up our body. So glad you're here with me today. Arms to the ceiling, arms to the ceiling. You are so blessed. You get to move your body. We're in this workout together. We're teammates, we're partners in this beautiful workout today. Whew. Go ahead, tap, cross. Starting to warm up. In through your entire body here using that rotational pattern. Beautiful. Hamstring curl, hamstring curl. Press, palms down, press it back. Warming up in through the shoulders, right here. Breathe it through. Opposite elbow, opposite knee. Cross the midline of your body. Now again, go your own timing. Just warming it up. Beautiful. All right, you're gonna give me heels and row right here. Row those arms. Beautiful job. Woo, you should start to be breaking a sweat. Now we're gonna do a toe tap. Hands on your hips. Toe tap. Sit back in a little bit of a squat. Little toe tap right here. Tapping the toes. Warming up the front part of the legs. We're gonna go into a beautiful squat down and up. Not deep. Warming it up, down and up. Sit back in your heels. Chest is nice, open, not rounding forward. Getting those legs warm. Tap side to the right. Right, now lateral movement. Getting warmed up, right here. We have cardio hit coming our way. Gotta make sure we're really warmed up. We're gonna tap the right leg back, then the left arms come up, up down nice and slow right here up remember we're just here to get warmed up tap it back working that beautiful extension pattern tempo hands on your hips tap tap hands on your hips tap it back right and left everyone beautiful job we're in this workout together Whew. are you ready we're gonna march it right to left right to left. Remember, you just want to get that blood pumping. You want to get those joints nice and warm, nice and loose. That's what we're doing in track one. Woo! All right, let's do shoulder rolls back, right and left. One, two, one, two, one, two. Just march it right to left. Now don't get too caught up 
on sticking to my beat, you guys. You're gonna modify, you're gonna always listen to your body. You're gonna go where you need to go in this beautiful cardio and upper body sculpt tone defined workout. Yeah? You're just gonna have fun, that's what I want. While you move your body, give me heels in a row to finish it. Right here, cross tap, beautiful. Woo, now track two. We're gonna work biceps and triceps with light weights and with heavy weights. So start thinking about that. What weight are you gonna want for your biceps and triceps? Grab the weight. All right, so my light weights are going to be fives and eights, and my heavy weights are gonna be 12s. You're in track two right here. But first, we're gonna grab our light weights. All right, you can march, you can heal. It doesn't matter about the legs. We're gonna go into a Zoda Man curl. Looks like this. So, now looks like this. Up, turn, rotate down. Palms up, up, two, rotate, two. Down, two, hold one more time, rotate. Palms up, rotate the palms out, down. Let's do one more so you get it. Zoda Man curl, up two, palms in, palms out and just do whatever you want with your legs. Ready, tempo, here we go. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This is a Zoda Man curl right here. So you go, palms face up, out, down, turn. Up, out, down, turn. Up, out, down, turn one more, up, out, down. Now we're gonna do a tricep, kick back right here. I don't care what you do with your feet. Kick it back. We're not leaning here. Your palms are facing in. Triceps right here with those beautiful light weights. March heel tap, toe tap, I don't care. Back, shoulders melt away from your ears. Triceps, back. So right here, you're gonna feel the triceps work as you're pressing down. Whew. Now you're gonna have your palms face down. Press it back, up. Press it back and up. Press it back and up. Palms face down. Palms face down. Really hitting the triceps array. Back side of the muscles, right here. Palms face down. Press it back. 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 Four more, here we go. Four. Three, two, and you're gonna grab your heavy weights. So that's a 12 for me. Zoda Man curls, biceps, heel taps, whatever you want. Now remember, we have the palms face up, right towards up. And then we're gonna turn, but these are two by two, nice and slow. Ready, here we go. Up, two, turn two, I have 12s in my hand. Down, two, three and four, and turn up two, up. Two, turn, two, go down for four, four, three, you got your heavy weights. Turn it, two by two, up, two, turn, two, biceps, whoo, yeah, again, go up, two, turn, two, down, two, three and four, four more, go up, two, turn, two, down, two, three more, here we go, up, whoo, come on, light and heavy weights, working it, two more, two more, two more, up, two, turn, two, down, two, three, four, one more, up, two, turn, two, we're going to go into those beautiful triceps, palms face each other, here we go, back, back, you got your heavy weight, back, Back then to neutral. Back. You got the heavy weight. I know we're working it. Eight more. Here we go. I got 12s in my hands. Oh! Bicep, tricep, sculpt, tone, and define everyone. Four more. Four more. Four. I'm going to switch it up. We're going to do tricep overhead extension. Grab your two weights. 
Ooh, wide stance. Wait. Two by two. Here we go. Down. Two. Up. Two. Down. Two. Up. Two again. Down. Two. Up. Three. We got eight. Two. Up. Four. Down. Two. Up. Five. Down. Two. Up. Six. Two more. Down. Two. Up. One more. We're going to grab those light weights. Oh, grab the light weights. So for the, me, they were five. Zodem and curl. You know the drill, guys. Bicep, tricep, track. Palms face up. Here we go. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. So palms up, turn, down. You turn at the bottom. One, two, three, and four. Keep it going. Woo! All right, cardio hit. Grab your jump rope. If you don't want to jump rope, you, my friend, will power walk march. Are you ready? Cardio hit. Hit it! Right here, jump rope or power walk march. Track three. Cardio hit. You do not have to jump rope. You can power walk march or jog or pretend to jump rope. Right here. Woo! Let's go. Keep it low impact, no jumping, or higher intensity. Let's go. Rest. Woo! You are going to jack, high or low. You move. Right here, low jack. Low jack, right here. High intensity, you're gonna do a regular jack. Go! Track three of seven. Cardio hit. Let's go. This is meant to be higher intensity. It's a quick, beautiful push. Push, push. Breathe it through, breathe it through. Whew. Come on, come on, you're strong, fit, and powerful. Rest. Jump up again, or power walk march or power jog. Everyone moving your feet, everyone. Move your feet, move your feet. Pick your poison. Go. Nothing like jump roping. Push, push. Oh yeah. Breathe it through. You're fit, you're strong. You're powerful. You're here to embrace this challenge. You are here to change your body. Press. Woo! Jack again. Low intensity. Woo! Everybody move. Or that higher intensity. You pick. Level it up or take it down. Go! This is meant to really jack up that heart rate. Rev up your metabolism with this beautiful hit. Cardio. Track three of seven, guys. You're holding strong. You are so blessed. You can move your body. Enjoy the sweat. Enjoy the body movement. Enjoy the power push. You're giving your body. Jump up again. Power walk march or jog. You guys, this workout can be absolutely tailored to your body, your fitness level, and your style. Go. Go. Breathe, breathe. Beautiful cardio, sculpt tone, defined workout. Press it through. Take the time. Never ever be afraid to take time for you and your health. Embrace it. Rest. Woo. All right, one more jack or jump. One more jack. This might be a rest, guys. Woo, march it. If they do that whistle one more time, they say go, we're gonna jack it. Go. Yep. 
This might be it. Keep it low impact if you need to. Oh, power push, power cardio push. I'm working it, I know you are. Beautiful circuit style workout to really burn that body fat and rev up your overall resting metabolism. So you're gonna burn. You're gonna burn body fat long after the workout is over. Yeah, thumbs up teammate, partner. How we doing? Okay, track four is all about the back and all about the chest. I have fives in front of me, I have eights, and I have twelves. We're gonna alternate the light hand weights, and we're gonna alternate the heavy hand weights. Now, when I do the back, you may want even lighter weights. Let me show you why. Back, we're gonna have palms face in, and we're gonna press it back, squeezing a lemon. We're gonna work our upper back. So right now I'm telling you, go ahead and have those, I have threes, fives, eights, and twelves. We're going into track four. So you guys are marching, you're heel digging, you're toe tapping, you're step touching. Right now, this is your recovery. You have two cardio hits in this workout, so you really need to push those cardio hits. Are you ready for back? Woo! Are you ready for back and chest? And a little bit of shoulder? Okay, now watch me. Now, your palms are gonna face each other. We're gonna go upper back. And we're gonna squeeze a lemon. We're working external rotation in that upper back. So I do have threes in my hands. Ooh. So we're gonna go ahead and do that split stance. Now palms face each other. Don't hike your ears to your shoulders or your shoulders to your ears. Go back, one, back, two. You're working that upper back, three, back, four, back, five, back, six. So from behind, you have eight more. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, lightweight, five, working that upper back, four, three, beautiful work, two. Now take it down. We're going to go up, down, up, down, up. Have the weights by you. You got light weights. We're still working the back. Up, down. Fives in my hands. I have my weights right by my side. Eight more. Here we go. Eight. Squeeze a lemon. Working that mid back. Up, down. Four more. Here we go. Four, three, two. We got to hit shoulders. We have to hit shoulders. I didn't do it in the last track. What you're going to do, you're going to pull up, come up and pull down like you're grabbing a rope. Pull the rope up, rotate, come down. Here we go, lightweight. Pull the rope up, rotate, palms face away. Come down, and that rope comes down. Again, shoulders, rotator cuff, up. So visualize, your weights are a rope. Here we go. One, two, three, four. You're pulling a rope, you're in a split stance. Working, rotator cuff, and shoulder, and that back. So pull a rope, lift, take it down, the rope down, pull, rotate, come on, pull, rotate. Oh, you got one more. We're gonna go into chest. Now, I want you to visualize, you have a cable behind you, lightweight. You have a cable behind you. You're pulling the cable and you're coming forward. I got a five in my hand, light hand weight. Grab that cable and pull. This is a chest, here we go. One, two, back two, nice and slow. Get the rotation. Two more, we're gonna go to tempo. You're working chest, you're pushing out. You're grabbing a cable and you're going. Here we go. One, two, one, Two, that back left arm is pulling a cable. Now you can put your right hand right here on the chest and feel your chest working. So pull the cable forward, forward, forward. You got four more, you can feel it right here. 
four. This is chest. Three, two. Put that light hand weight in the right hand. Two, two by two. Here we go. One, two. You can put your left hand on that right chest. Pec major, pec minor. Two, feel it. Pushing motion. Push, you work your chest. When you push, again, one, two, back, two, one, two, feel it right here in that chest. Again, push the arm away. One more, we go tempo. Push that arm away. Tempo, here we go. One, two, three, four, feel the pushing action. Five, six, seven, you got eight more. Man, I feel that chest working. Eight, seven, six, five. Come on. Four. Grab that cable. Pull it forward. Grab that cable. Now I want you to go to your heavy weights. Heavy weights. Right here. Hip hinge. Let's go two by two. Heavy weight. Up, palms face each other. Down, two. Hip hinge, nice forward flexion. Sit back in your heels, up, two, down, heavy weights. I got 12s in my hands, right here, two by two. Shoulders melt away from your ears, chest tall and proud. Now let's have the palms face to the back of the room, two by two, up, two. Just messing with the arm movement. Palms face, Oof. to the back of the room. Working your back from different angles with that heavy weight. Now I want your palms to face to the front of the room. Two by two. Keep that two by two. Up two. Down two. Up two. Down two. Up two. Down two. Sit up, bro. Come to the chest. Heavy weight. Two by two. Come on. Up two, down two. Work the heavy weight, come to chest. Again, up two, down two, heavy weight. Woo, we're gonna use our own body weight in just a minute. Ah, work it, shoulder back and chest. Woo, come down. Okay, we don't have time, but we're gonna do it in our next one. Grab your jump rope. We're back into cardio hit. We are in track five of seven. We're gonna jump rope, you're gonna power walk march, cardio time, ready? Hit it. Hit it. Right here, jump rope, power walk march, or jog, or pretend to jump rope. Okay, so my handle just came off of my jump rope. So, here we go, improvising. Push it. Come on guys, let's go. Cardio hit, this is it. Press. Okay, put that off to the side. Low intensity, you just do knees without the jumping. Higher intensity, high run, knees come in front to belly button height, but this is your low intensity. Oh. Right here, your call. Shoulders melt away from your ears. Let's go. Woo, track five of seven, guys. Remember, we are here to transform and challenge and change Woo, our body. We're here to discover what our body can do for us. You're strong, fit, and very powerful. Take this time to focus on your health and you. You should never feel bad that you are focusing on your own health. It is such a blessing. Jump rope, march, or jog. You ready? Woo! Go! March, jog, jump rope, or pretend jump rope. Many choices. Woo! Great workout today. Really challenging your cardio? and your upper body strength. Such a beautiful challenge to embrace today. Press. Again, you get to go back to the knees. 
Everyone, let's just start the low intensity. Low impact, remember, absolutely stay here. You don't have to take it up. Not at all. Go. Go. Right here. So in the hits, it's your timing, your intensity, your level. Whew. Just go where your body can go. Focus on what your body can do for you. Let's go. Push, push. Whew. Jump off one last time. Or power walk march. Or jog. Right now, everybody's moving. Heel, side tap, toe taps, march. Doesn't matter. This is your last jump rope of the class. Go. Let's go. Last jump rope of the class. Strong, fit, powerful. That is your mantra. Rest. Okay, one more. Again, this is it for the knees. Whew. Right here. Let's move it. This is going to be it for us. I think, anyway. When it comes on, go. go. Remember, low intensity right here. Beautiful job. Higher intensity. Get it up even higher. We get active recovery after this. Track six. I'm going to do biceps, triceps, shoulders, chest, and back. So we're going to hit all the body parts in track six. Recover. Recover. Okay. Track six. We're going to use heavy weight. We're going to work biceps, triceps, shoulders, chest and back. All heavy weight. So do you want a mat? We're going to be laying down as we do a beautiful chest press. Okay? So I'm going to ask you, what weights do you want? I'm going to go for my heavy weights. I'm going to go 15s. Track seven, body weight and core. Track six, only heavy weights. Two by two count, nice, slow, and controlled. What is your heavy weight for you? For bicep, tricep, chest, back, and shoulders. Two by two count. So you're gonna pull out those heavy weights. Right now you're in one minute recovery. I give you one minute recovery. Beautiful job, really burning that body fat, revving up your overall resting metabolism with this workout. Biceps, what weight do you want? I'm gonna switch them out. So right now you can be split stance or you can be feet hip width apart, shoulders set back, palms face away. Whew. Just take this time, we're gonna go two by two. Track six is only heavy weight. Two by two, here we go. Up, two, down, two, go up, two, down two, we got eight, up two, down three, bicep curl, I got 15s in my hands, down four, up two, down five, up two, down six, up two, down seven, one more, up two, down eight, hold, put your right hand on your right hip, now, let's row, single, single. One, palms face to the back of the room. Two, working back and shoulder. Three, four, you got eight. Five, six, seven, and eight. Put the left foot in front, right foot behind, split stance. Right palm faces back of the room, shoulders melt away from your ears. Let's go, we got eight, eight. Seven, Don't forget six, five, four, three, two, one. Feet hip width apart, 
shoulders set back two by two upright row to the chest here we go up two down one you got eight up two to the chest down two up two down three we're gonna grab our mat after this up two down four up two down five up two down six two more we grab our mat up two Whew. shoulder time big time 15s in my hands grab your mat we're gonna go into beautiful beautiful chest press get the weights up two by two here we go working on that chest two by two heavy weight this is a heavy weight track in track six two down two up three down two you got four more everyone four more down two up five down two you got two more then we're gonna have our palms face each other we're gonna go into triceps your weights are gonna push together belly button height two by two elbows rub to the inside of your rib cage tricep work down two lift two you got eight down two i'm counting that's three tricep work down two lift four down two lift five come on three more down two lift six two more one more we're gonna have the weights together. Go over your head, two by two. Now, put one weight down. If that's too much, working the back. So you're going over your head and up to your forehead, working the back. Your weights can be pressed together or you could drop one weight. Work in the back. Beautiful job, four more, two by two. Over your head for two. Pull up to your forehead, two. Visualize you have a rope and you're pulling it up, working your back. Two more. I know it's worth a Beautiful up. job. Yeah, Ooh. Now, if you took one weight down, grab your other weight. Palms face away. We're going back into the chest press. Ready, two by two. You know Beautiful chest press with a heavy weight. You're at chest height. Two by two, when your elbow touches the floor, you come and you push back up the work is in the push two up two again down two up two you're gonna palms face in let's do the triceps again so you're down at your belly button weights are pressing go down for two and up for two beautiful tricep work but i want the weights right by your belly button or your stomach region right here track seven is all about the upper body body weight again now i don't want the weights to push up to the chest they're pushing up to the belly button we're going to go over our head again you get the option of two weights or drop a weight one weight two by two back work i dropped one weight myself just in case you're wondering I have a 15 in my hand. So it's over for two. Feel your upper back muscles working beautiful. Let's go again. Come on. Over for two and up for two. Okay, put that weight away. Track seven. We are working body weight. I'm gonna do, whew, we're gonna work body weight, upper body and core. This is your very last track, guys. Very, very, very last track. So let's come up into that high plank, everyone. We're gonna really fire off this upper body. Squeeze a quarter in between your butt cheeks. This is core track, seven of seven. Core and body weighted exercise with the focus on upper body. Now drop your knees. We're gonna go two by two wide push-ups. Ready, nice, slow, move through the wet seam mat. Down for two and up for two move through the wet cement down two and up for two again down for two 
and up for two one more down for two and hold that beautiful high high plank again core work so right now you are nice and flat your hips are nice and flat your shoulders are melted away from your ears right here beautiful job we're going to take our knees to the ground lift our feet off two by two push up again here we go down two and then up one move through wet cement down two up two really slow down two up three one more down two beautiful high plank again right now hands under your shoulders hips nice and square squeeze that quarter in between your butt cheeks to really engage that pelvic floor let's go hold hold try to rock forward on your toes drop your knees to the mat your feet off two by two last set through the west seat mat push up go down two up one three more down two up two really slow move through wet cement down two really fatiguing that upper body with your own body weight one more pick a side plank form side plank working core stability right here i want that bottom hip to lift to the ceiling you guys you're in track seven of seven you have been my teammate my partner for the entire workout so very proud of you are you ready? We're going to sit on our butt. We're going to do basic crunch, trunk flexion. Up, two, move through wet cement. Down, two, really working on trunk flexion. Whew. Again, so you're really thinking about the core below your belly button. Again, you can just, if you want, touch your outside heels. Arms can go with you. Four more. Up, two, down two three more move through that wet cement you're nice and sticky roll it down one vertebra at a time whoo one more and you're gonna go ahead you're gonna hit the other side side plank so make sure you're doing that other side side plank the bottom hip lifts to the ceiling lift it up lift it up hold it up right here working on whoo, flexion core flexion right here working lateral stability as well we're going to do the forearm plank we're going to come forward forearm plank right here squeeze that lemon in between your shoulder blades this is a final challenge and push for you to embrace teammate squeeze that quarter in between your butt cheeks Whew. all right you're going to take your stomach to the ground you're going to lift your hands and you're going to lift your legs yes we're working core we're working the back side kind of like you just fell from an airplane and you're skydiving there's no tension in the head neck or shoulders I'm working the entire back side of your body. Forearm plank. Again, I want to use your own body weight to really sculpt, tone, and define. Squeeze that quarter in between your butt cheek. Don't let that quarter slide down your butt cheek. You want to engage your pelvic floor. Engage that transverse abdominis. Stomach on the ground. Skydive. So you're lifting your front of your legs off the mat chest is off the mat there's no tension and the head neck or shoulders you're squeezing a lemon in between your shoulder blades work the strength of your body working against gravity now high plank high plank hands on the ground come on challenged by high plank and low plank hands under your shoulders shoulders mounted away from your ears hips are nice and square rock forward on your toes squeeze that quarter don't let it slide down your butt cheeks feel your entire body grip feel the strength you have 
and come on in. Whew. Beautiful, beautiful workout. Challenging the biceps, triceps, shoulders, chest, and back in today's workout. We worked lightweight and heavyweight. We really are revving up your resting metabolic rate by doing the circuit style workout. My name is Angie, Angie Fitness TV. You're going to make sure you go in the description box below. Find a cool down and stretch song where you will cool down and stretch and focus on mobility and flexibility right now. I hope to see you for our next workout together, guys. I burned 260 calories in today's workout. Phenomenal workout, guys. Bye. Welcome to this very basic, very simple, and easy to follow standing stretch. You can do this any time of day. My name is Angie, Angie Fitness TV. Basic, simple, easy to follow. Let's just start with a beautiful deep breath in. Let's oxygenate our body. Beautiful inhale. And exhale, let's begin to center and focus into our own body. Two more breaths, are you ready? Beautiful inhalation. And exhalation, breathe into the deepest part of the lungs. One more time, beautiful inhalation. And exhalation, begin to place your hands on the outsides of your thighs and just roll your shoulders up, back, and away from your body. So if you sit at your computer desk all day, this is a beautiful, quick, easy to follow, basic standing stretch. All right, I want you to reverse those shoulder circles, back, up, and down. Just really working with that shoulder mobility. Your feet are hip width apart chest is nice and open breathing into the deepest part of your lungs all right you guys we're going to just slide the right arm down side of the body lateral flexion and that left arm keep going just slide it down hips are nice and square feet are hip width apart shoulders are on a back wall shoulders are on a back wall beautiful lateral side stretching here take that right arm up and go a little deeper if you want eye gaze to the ceiling feet are still hip width apart your top right elbow is pointing to the ceiling now if this stretch is too deep continue with the other stretch left hand comes up and over left elbow to the ceiling and your eye gaze to the ceiling stretching out and through the neck as well come on up interlace your fingers behind you and get a beautiful chest expansion shoulders back down and away from your ears feet are hip width apart lungs are nice and open look over your right shoulder working neck mobility cervical mobility shoulders set down and away from your ears look over your left shoulder Look over your right shoulder. Look over your left shoulder. Head center, chin to the ceiling. Chin to the chest. Neck mobility, chin to the ceiling. Chin to the chest. Chin center, right ear, right shoulder. Left ear, left shoulder. Shoulders set back down and away from your ears. Fingers interlaced behind you. Chest expansion, right ear, right shoulder. And left ear, left shoulder. Take your hands up. Elbow rolls up and back. Beautiful. Elbows, so it's your elbows that are circling up back your own timing and reverse those elbow circles elbows lead the circles all right take a wide step out to the left soft bend in the left knee let your right arm hang and just circle like a pendulum Taking all of the tension out of the shoulder and the rotator cuff. 
nice, beautiful pendulum. Let it swing. That right arm is dead weight. Reverse your pendulum. Start up the pendulum, then dead weight. You're going to really feel all those muscles lengthen. Arm is dead weight, and you just pendulum. Soft bend in the left knee. All right, soft bend in the right knee. You come laterally to the side and pendulum. A big circle, so dead weight. Your right arm is just gently on top of that right thigh. And your left arm is dead weight. Left arm is dead weight. Beautiful pendulum, beautiful reach, and reverse the circle. You gotta start the pendulum and then let it just hang in dead weight. You're gonna feel that beautiful stretch all in through your shoulder. No tension in the head, neck, or shoulders. All right, while your hands are, while your feet are wide, we're gonna roll down for two and up for two, spinal mobility. Here we go. You're gonna go down for two, Actually, come on up, shoulders back. Let's go down for four and up for four. Roll it down, down, two, three and four. Hip mobility and spinal mobility. Up, two, three and four. Roll down one vertebra at a time and then roll it up. One vertebra at a time. Feel your hips open up as you come down. We have two more spinal mobility and hip mobility right here. As you go down, feel the hips open up. Knees are not coming in. One more beautiful body movement. Oh, oh, beautiful, beautiful. Now you're gonna come on down. You're gonna look over that left shoulder. Beautiful spinal rotation, working spine rotation and back mobility. Look over that right shoulder. That left hand is pressing into the inside of that left inner thigh. Feel that beautiful rotation as you pass the midline of your body. One more time. Beautiful, that right hand presses the inside of the thigh out to the outside of the room just a little bit. And switch. Beautiful. All right, you're gonna roll it up one vertebra at a time. Shoulders set back down and away from your ears, toe heel in. All right, grab that right foot. Hold on to a chair. So knee to knee alignment, we're stretching out the front of this right hip and our right shoulder right here. And we're working balance. Beautiful, you guys, you sit on the computer all day or you sit all day, this is a beautiful, beautiful basic and easy to follow standing stretch to do, even with your workout clothes on, even with your work professional attire on. Just to, if you have high heels, make sure you take your high heels off. All right, are you ready? Left hand grabs the left foot, knee to knee alignment, stretching out the front of that left hip flexor. And as your hand is holding the foot, Shoulder drops back in a way, so you're stretching the pec major and minor and a little bit of the shoulder and cervical region. So you can put pressure, your, some foot pressure into your hand to get a deeper stretch and through that upper body. Beautiful work. Yes, and it's a major balance challenge, but that's what we want. All right, we're gonna hug that right knee. Beautiful back stretch. And let's just circle this ankle. Balance and back stretch and hip stretch and circle. You can point and flex. Yes, you want that balance challenge as well. Because as we get older, we lose our balance if we don't focus and work on it. And release. Get your balance, shoulders back. Left knee is just hiking up. So we're stretching the back and the hip. And when we rotate the foot, we're stretching that left ankle. We're working on ankle mobility. And right here, when you point and flex, you're stretching out your calf. So we're doing a lot of beautiful and more challenging balance right here. So we're doing a lot of, a lot of mobility at the same time. And you're strengthening and through the stabilizing ankle joint. 
All right. So your feet are a little more than hip width apart. Let's just circle here. Front, side, back. Yes. You want to loosen up in through your hips, in through the back. Shoulders set back, down and away from your ears. Just circle, soft bend in your knees, and reverse your circle. Here we go. Soft bend in your knees, there's no tension. in the head, neck, or shoulders. Beautiful circles, yeah? Just feel front, side, and back. Front, side, and back. You can do that. Beautiful. All right, now you're gonna take your left toe to the, right toe to the ceiling, hips point forward. We're stretching, really getting that calf and that hamstring. Hips, hips are square. No tension in the head, neck, or shoulders. Beautiful stretch and through the back side of your body. And now we're gonna do the same thing, our left heel on the ground, left toes up. Oh, I hope you're enjoying this beautiful break you have right now. When you're stretching, nothing like a beautiful, beautiful stretch. All right, you guys, your feet are hip width apart, shoulders set back. I just want you to put a soft bend in your knees and reach for your toes. You are stretching the entire back side of your body. Yes, this feels good. You can straighten your legs if you have that capability, or you can put a soft bend in your knees. Everyone, I want you to just shake your head yes and no, and let the gravity just release some of these muscles. If you can, place your hands on your elbows. You're in a deep forward fold stretch. Feel free to put a bend in your knee. Just head yes, head no. You can circle your head. You're letting gravity pull it down and just working with the range of motion. Beautiful deep forward flexion. Feel this in your calf, hamstrings, glutes, your back, upper body is absolutely relaxed. Soft bend in your knees, everyone. Hands on top of your thighs. Roll it up one vertebra at a time. Shoulders back some shoulder rolls back beautiful job today oh beautiful job all right we're gonna end with three breaths beautiful inhalation and exhale each time breathe deeper and deeper into the lungs close your eyes revitalize and re-energize beautiful deep inhalation and exhale this is our last one chest is open shoulders relaxed beautiful inhalation and exhale thank you for focusing on mobility flexibility and balance in today's class be sure to look in the description box below and do one of my other many easy to follow and basic stretches until next time my name is angie angie fitness tv i'll see you bye